Hey, a pleasant good day everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borg and this is going to be a quick video on if the Eagles go or Eagles go offensive line in the first round, who should they draft and what should their top three priorities be? Well, as we get right into it, our Philadelphia Eagles obviously could use some offensive linemen. We really like how Jordan Mulata was able to step in and play, but you don't want to have to rely on a guy that's still learning the pro game of football compared to playing rugby overall tenfold, 100% of the time. So while listening to the Eagle Eye podcast or listening to Chris Sims and other experts, it seems like the Eagles could definitely the biggest hole uh, would be guard, and then their second one would be center, but centers are more in the second or third round of this draft that you would pick those guys since Kelsey's at 33, but they could definitely use a left tackle. I think I said guard before I meant left tackle, um, where they could use a guard too, which is what Brooks played, but I usually do for the method of my madness, um, go off of mock drafts and look at different mock drafts to see and gauge who would actually be there for the Eagles, where Penny Sewell and almost everyone uh, is off of the mock drafts, where the one I'm specifically using for the video is the NFL Nation one by ESPN for this particular video. I always pick one uh, for the particular video, but guys that would still be there that I think the first guy you would have to go for if you're the Eagles, because he's a guy that's just a prospect who could start at left tackle from day one is Christian Darishaw, um, out of Virginia Tech. Um, he's a guy that I think you would want to get. He is an absolute beast. Um, he can completely come in and give you long-term stability at the offensive line position, and that would really be helpful where... If you don't get him, a lot of mocks have him going to either the Chargers or the Vikings, who both also could use um, offensive line help. I think he's the best guy to get for the Eagles, since it seems like Penny Sewell will not be there. And he's a guy that every single mock draft I read says that he should be a guy you can just immediately plug in and play. He's a good, easy, and natural mover um, and can adjust in space with smooth footwork, according to the USA Today expert. And he's comfortable and easy in space, controls and maintains quality contact no matter where he is and who is across from it. And he excels at being a mirror to the defender. So I think he's a perfect guy to have his left tackle. We had a great one here for a long time in Jason Peters. He's a guy that you could have again for long-term stability. He would be the number one guy. Somebody I had at number one before uh, Chris Sims uh, kind of enlightened me on it where he believes that he's going to be more of a guard potentially than a tackle in the NFL is Ray Sean Slater because of his versatility which that makes some sense he's been versatile he's been playing all over where you got to peg him as something and he thinks he's going to become more of a guard um, he's one of the best offensive linemen and one of the most diverse in the draft because he can play every position on the line but being that Sims thinks he's going to be more of a guard in the NFL, that's what moved him to second for me going off of him. He's been very right about pass drafts, especially on quarterbacks. People made fun of him. And then four years later went, wowza, he's really good. So I've usually always used him and used Daniel Jeremiah. And uh, they both um, like him, where Jeremiah never specifically said he thinks he'll be more of a guard, but Sims did. So that made me adjust, where Darishaw, reading more up on him before doing this video, definitely seems like he's the guy that would most likely be the plug right in and be very successful from the jump at left tackle, where Slater would be a guy you can try to play at left tackle, but then you might ultimately end up moving to guard. And being a good all-pro, or at least very good guard in the NFL, it's just the Eagles right now, obviously, seem to be zoning in more in the tackle position, but I would not mind getting a good guard either because obviously Brandon Brooks and the likes are not getting any younger on the roster either, so it wouldn't be bad to get a very good uh, potential pro all-pro guard there either, which is what Ray Sean Slater is, not Ray Sean Slater, Ray Sean Slater is. Now, for the last person that I would say they could get... Um, my friend Andrew ended up uh, going to this school, so he knows a bit about this guy. Hopefully, we'll get into him more in the Eagles a draft preview video and not the one that's just on specific video or positions I'm doing. But this guy, Trevin Jenkins, seems like he's going to become a potential tackle. Um, and he's played more right tackle than left tackle. So, obviously, the Eagles, um, you would think, could use a more left tackle than right tackle, obviously, since Lane Johnson is very good. But he's a guy that if you're able to slide him over, or he's able to become a very good guard 
just like I believe Rayshon Slater can do. That would still be a very good pick. Uh, he plays with a very good, uh, as ESPN reported, which is very ni nice to have. I think Philly would like him for this reason, mean blue collar, very gritty uh, streak. Uh, he's a very nasty lineman that really gets it done and uh, really um, gets into the heads of the other team. And I think that's a fun thing to have. That's why I have him third, too. He kind of resonates with the city of Philly to me. He's a very good player, kind of resonates with the way he plays in that blue collar, mean streak style with the city of Philly. He might end up playing more, obviously, um, guard position for you. But um, he probably could play some left guard and at least move to left guard. I'm not sure about left tackle. And that would be a nice get for the Eagles as well to have an all-pro guard in him. So again, it would go Darisol, who I believe is going to just jump right in and play left tackle and be a guy from day one, has the chance to be your next Peters the most. So that's why I would go with him as number one if they are going to go with a lineman here. Second would be Slater because he's so versatile. He's bound to just become a very good stud at one of the positions on the line. You had a very good percentage chance there. He's played every position, so he would be second. And then yet again, to wrap it all up, but not saving uh, saving the well, saving one of the, not the best for list, but definitely not one of the least, is Tevin Jenkins, who's a very good uh, tackle as well, who you can probably move to right or left tackle, excuse me, um, if you want to try to, but I think could definitely potentially play and become a good guard in the NFL as well from Oklahoma State. Plays with a mean streak, plays in the kind of the mode and mindset you would love to have in a Philadelphia player. So that's why I have him ranked third. Those are the Philadelphia Eagles offensive line rankings for if they go O-line in the draft. I hope you all enjoyed this short, about seven-minute video. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Board. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and hopefully our Eagles make the right decision and do not screw up the draft. If they go O-line, again, Darishaw, I think, is the number one guy to go with Slater second, and then numero trace would be Tevin Jenkins from Oklahoma State. Have a great day and pleasant day, and enjoy the draft, everybody, starting tomorrow. Peace out, everybody.